What made you want to become a barber? Honestly, I like the way my barber was. He was fly all the time. So nice car. At that time, he had all the girls, the money. And then, you know, I saw he was very influential with the kids. So that's the main part that stuck out with me because he was, he was very influential with me and the life I was living. So, you know, he kind of taught me through a lot of stuff. Even though I didn't listen, but he still tried. So I feel like me growing up the way I did, I want to give back to the community as well. And the kids help them grow up on straight and narrow paths, reward the ones that's doing good in school, talk and mentor the ones that's not. And so really? So I was in the army for about three years. And I was coming out of the army and uh, I was trying to go to school. And honestly, I was thinking about like going like architecture, like trying to do architecture or something like that. But at the time, I was dating this girl and she was like, you know, you like to draw. You know, you did a lot of art in high school. Why don't you try barbering? And I was like, mm. she was like, it's kind of like art. And I was like, mm, I guess I'll give it a try. So I went to the school and checked it out. And, you know, I saw everybody cutting and stuff and I was like, yeah, this is my spot. So here I am now. <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask you this, man. Would you um not ever picking up a pair of clippers before before school? Do you think you you picked up stuff just as just as fast as people who who had cut before? You know I what think I'm I think I've learned really fast. I think yeah. I've I've picked up really fast. Then really it's just because of art, man. Yeah. It's from drawing and stuff like that. It's like the same thing. You just taking it away. You know what I'm saying? You just taking it away. Uh, ever since I was little, I always had a passion for fashion, hair cutting, and designing clothes. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? Just wanted to get Barber in the try and see if it worked out for me. And here I am. Okay. First started cut hair when I was 17, went to school, and I got out of the army. Then, I'm just coming out of school probably about three, four months ago. Liking it so good so far. Uh, I started cutting hair about uh, two years ago, and really, it's been it's been a journey from school to the shop because the school messed up my paperwork. So I was all up and down. I was at a job for six months, but really, before I started barber school, I didn't pick up a pair of clippers a day in my life. So. So you learned everything at school? I learned basically. everything at school. Back in high school, I did a lot of art. I used to draw and do all that cool stuff. So when I got into barbering, I looked at it like art. Like I look at everybody's head like a canvas. Right. And we the artists. And we all got to perform art, you know? We got to perform miracles. <laughs> That's true, man. Uh, officially first picked up my first pair of clippers back in 2002, which was my sophomore year of high school. Okay. What's the biggest difference between being in school and being in a barbershop? Being in school is a lot more structure and rules with being in school versus the barbershop. You kind of kind of make your own little schedule. I can come and, well, come and go as I please depending on the walk-in ratio. Um, but other than that, that's about it. You getting paid. <laughs> you getting money. I heard that. I heard that. Um, in the shop, it's, it's all eyes on you. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you ain't amongst your peers no more, so you you like a fish in a shark tank. Yeah. You know what I mean? What's, what was something that you struggled or struggled with when you first came to the shop? Oh, straight hat clients. I struggle with straight hat clients like crazy. But I got a good team though, man. They taught me a lot. They taught me a lot. Ethnic hair. That curly hair is serious, man. It don't lay down like straight hair. That straight hair, you just hit it once and it'll fall down and you do it right. It almost looks wet. But when you do that curly hair, you got to deal with the curls falling and all types of different stuff. So that curly hair for me is, is hard, bro. Straight hair. Uh, cutting straight hair, styling. The hair after you after the cut's been completed. Um, just trying to get that that look down. What's the best thing you've learned since being in the shop? How to shoot cut. I think that's the best thing I learned. Yeah, how to shoot cut. Best thing I've learned. Um, don't always judge a book by its cover. 
because you'll see people come in and you'll be like, oh, that guy, you know, he's not going to be a good client. He's not going to come back. But then, you know, you get to know the guy and you realize he a great dude and he one of your loyal clients now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, time management, money management. What's something that you would tell current barber students? If you're looking to become a barber hairstylist in school, focus, focus, focus. Focus. That's where you're going to learn everything. All your bases will take you to a whole new level when you get in the shop. Focus. Focus, focus, focus. Study and pass and test. If you're going to do it, stick with it. Because if you give up, somebody else is going to take it from you. That's all I got to say about that. Do what you love and love what you do. You know what I mean? It, it shows. If, it, if it's not in your heart, it's not going to show. You know what I'm saying? If you love what you do, get a show. What's your favorite cut to do? Skin fade. Medium skin fade. All day. I like doing skin type fade. High skin type fade. That's my favorite. Okay. Uh, it's, it's something about fading that I like. I like. I like the progress, I like, you know, the process of it. And at the end, you're like, wow, I did this? <laughs> yeah. Uh, medium fade. Medium Go ahead, let them know your um, social media, how they contact you and check out your work, bro. And y'all can check me out on Steven Jack 24 that's S-T-E-P-H-E-E-J-A-C-K-2-4. Where that's at, Instagram? Yep, that's my Instagram. My Facebook is Steve D'Angelo. S T E V E D E A N G E L O. Steve D'Angelo. It's Joshua Barber with three R's at the end. Three R's. Don't get the three R's on. Right. Facebook, J the Barber Bowens. Instagram, Sick of Your Average. Snapchat, City Boy Fly underscore 86.